What's up guys, it's Project bringing you a quick start guide to Child, also known as Sweet Tart Tarnass, so you can utilize this Riptide Surfer to the fullest of your ability. I'm going to give you team comps, weapon recommendations, as well as how to play him on the basic level. As the famous Bruce Lee once said, Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Child is one of the most unique characters in the game and capable of being a powerhouse dealing hundreds of thousands of damage on his elemental burst. But just like becoming Wata is easier said than done, so is bringing out his potential and making him work. So we have to understand the mechanics. Tartaglia is both a ranged and a melee unit in one package. However, the melee portion is timed. To enter melee mode, you switch to it using his E, and this mode lasts 30 seconds. There is a big drawback though. If you don't switch back to bow using E again, you will enter a gigantic cooldown of over 40 seconds where you can't activate melee stance anymore. Luckily, there's a signal that tells you whether it's close to expiring, so simply switching to range when that symbol pops up will reduce the CD by over 10 seconds. However, 30 seconds is still pretty long, and to be honest, the bow portion of him is not that great. So, you must have a backup unit to switch to to deal damage while his melee stance recovers. The second unique mechanic to him is Riptide, a special debuff that, when applied and hit with water status, triggers an AoE explosion. There are several ways to apply it. Number 1. Aim Charge Shot. 2. Using Q in bow form. 3. If an enemy with Riptide dies, it'll apply Riptide to nearby enemies in a sort of AoE splash. And 4. Once you unlock Sword of the Torrents, even the melee attacks will inflict Riptide status. However, the description is wrong. It'll only inflict the Riptide with critical hits, not just any hit. So I expect compensation for this, as it misleads players to thinking not building high crit is that important, but no, you need really high crit with Child. For your melee rotation, because his modifiers are rather low, it's best to do one basic and then a charge attack combo and keep rotating that until your melee buff is almost done or your stamina is almost out, to which you switch back to bow form and then switch out tart. Note, switching out while you are in melee form auto enters your cooldown again, so you don't want to do what you do normally with other units, where you usually switch constantly for reactions and stuff. When you use child, you have to commit to him for 30 seconds to best use him, and you have to switch to bow form to gain that reduced cooldown. Naturally, talents can alleviate this drawback a lot, and I would say C6 Child is plain broken, as using your Q will reset his melee CD once you switch back to Bow, meaning near infinite uptime of his melee stance so long as you can pull off his burst every 30 seconds. So C0 tarts like us, we get left in the dust once again. And lastly, his elemental burst does insane damage. As mentioned, Bow form will apply Riptide status to every enemy in the AoE, and it gives you back some energy as well, so it cycles its Q faster. While the melee burst is sort of the opposite. If they have the Riptide status, you'll gain an additional pop of damage. So take Mona for example, the queen of stupid damage at the moment, and her modifiers for her Q are comparable. Meaning, Child will be able to do similar multiple 100k damage burst, and perhaps even more if you get Riptide on the enemy ahead of time, via a charged aim shot. So those are child's mechanics. You apply Riptide with a bow shot, then switch to melee as much as possible, using his cues in between, and before the melee stance timer expires, you switch back to bow, and then you probably switch out. For comps, these are some simple ones I put together for you guys. With Bennett, which you can buy from the Star Glitter Shop, you can do the meme one-shot builds with child for bosses. Sucrose would carry Thrilling Tales of the Dragon to boost child's attack, and then you apply Riptide first, switch to the buffers, and then finally switch back to Tart, to where Fire Row is the only element to apply to the enemy, and then you use your Q for vaporized increased damage for a gazillion damage. The second comp is playing around with Ice. If you don't have Chi Chi, use the Yona. This is probably better for Domains or Abyss, as you'll be grouping enemies with Venti, and then AoE riptiding them with Tart's melee stance or using the Q. And you're freezing constantly with Chi Chi and Chaos Burst, so you can survive even better. And lastly, sort of a simple team based on free units. If you were to reroll for Child, or simply didn't have all the fancy units and gear to make the other comps work, you can use this team. I'd recommend Bennett as the healer for that team for the 2 times fire attack bonus with Fischl as the sub DPS. Best in slot weapon is Skyward Harp in my opinion, because it has crit rate and, well, the stats are really good. 4 stars, Rust, Viridescent Hunt, Stringless, and Sacrificial Bow. Rust being the best overall in my opinion, although it doesn't help his burst, 
Viridescent is only mentioned purely for the crit rate. I think its effect sucks though, because you won't be able to activate it during melee form. Black Cliff Warbow though is a worthy mention, as it's viable for everyone, while the others are only from Gacha. Three stars, eh, they kind of suck to be honest. Raven is about the best you can get. Otherwise, Slingshot purely for the crit rate, even though its effect is useless on melee. For artifact setup, Noblest Oblige 2-piece is top pick. Then either Gladiator or Berserker 2-piece set if you need the crit rate. Gambler 2-piece is also great. I think around 60-70% to or higher crit is needed for him to get the most out of him, but at least 50% bare minimum. For stats, you want attack percent or energy recharge on the clock, hydro damage percent on goblet, and then crit rate or crit damage on crown, depending on if you need the crit rate or not, if you're missing one of the crit rate bows. Substats, energy recharge on everything, then crit, crit damage, and attack percent last. Maybe some elemental mastery if you can. Talent mats, here they are. Recommended focusing on upgrading the burst skill first and then the melee talent. Remember, he won't be able to apply the Riptide status with melee stance until he's ascension level 3 to 5, one of those. And his special passive, boost talent level 1s for all teammates. But this is really only relevant for your second sub DPS, as you obviously wouldn't really attack with your basic attacks from Barbar or something like that. Ascension mats, his passive bonus gives him hydro damage bonus instead of crit which was leaked before, what was incorrect, or they either changed it, kinda sucks though, but we'll take the damage I guess. And boom, guy done. Hopefully now you can better see how to handle the Tart. He's definitely a character you gotta put effort into and not just slap random gear on, like I did in the background because I'm an AR-40 scrub, but maybe that makes me more relatable to you guys, right? All in all, if you do build him, make sure you have someone else built as well, unless you see 6 him. If you can't, have a good well geared sub DPS in the team as he will just become a burst DPS rather than a main DPS. So use that to decide if you want to summon him as well. Zhang Li is next month confirmed and he likely will be easier to play as well as having an artifact gear set for Geo, unlike water at the moment. So that's the guide, hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you guys think of Wet Boy. Is it good? Bad? Fun? Save it for Xiao? <laughs> Also, rip tie that like button if you can, and most importantly, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Genshin epicness. Starbucks, and I got it for you. Now I drink a black fucking iced Americano. Now that's as hard as it gets, dude. And I got that for you because you're a sweet tart, tartan ass. That's why, man. Don't wait. Show that you're not